Can I talk to you? We need to pray for you, for you not to lose your job. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because you're at the point of losing your job now. I have resigned. You have resigned already? Yes. Can I ask you why did you resign? Uh, I've got financial problems. So I spoke to them that I'll go back in May. Go back to work in May or back to school in May? Work. You were not supposed to resign your job because the devil does what he wanted you to do. Because the minute you resigned your job, life became very difficult for you. This one that you're saying you're going back in May, it's going to be tough for you to go back in May. Because this is an attack to you. Okay. For you to be poor. Okay. Hmm? Mm. Because, can I, can I just say something to you? You can't say you are resigning your job because you have finances problem. Your job is your source of income. Am I making sense? Yes, there's a lot of things that are happening at work. Yes, so that's, that's why what I'm I saying. Took a break, yeah. That's why I said to you, we should pray for you not to lose your job because I saw the challenges that are at your working place. Yes. Hmm? Yes. What should have happened for you? You were supposed, actually, you were supposed to be promoted by now. But everybody, everybody was now working against you. Yes. You were now the bad person. Yes. Hmm? yes. People would do mistakes and they would blame it on you. Yes. Hmm? People will not do their job and they will say it was your shift. Yes. I want to pray for you so that you go back. Because if you don't go back, don't wait for me. If you wait for me, you will not go back to your working place. They would have already replaced you and they, are not, they won't take you back. This is just the plan of the devil for you to live in poverty. Okay. In difficulty. That's why even now, if you can look all around you, including your family members, you not they don't live life the way they want to. Finance is a problem. Yes. There is actually a spirit of poverty in your home, in yes. your family. Mm. And this is the spirit that has worked against you. So I'm going to pray for you. And I want you to believe God with me that you go back to your place to your working place. Yes, we have got an arrangement that I should come in at, uh, on Tuesday so that they see if the machine will take me because when you resign, you have to stay three months without uh, uh, going to, to, to work. So now they said they're going to make arrangements so, so I can come on Tuesday and then they'll see if everything is fine. I'm going to pray. We're going to pray with you now and I'm believing God, the God of charis that I know, that on Tuesday, you will go back to your work. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because if you don't, I don't want to lie to you, the spirit of poverty is going to tear you down completely. For you to even get a job for your profession again, it will be impossible for the rest of your life. Are you hearing me? Yes. Lift up your hands. Where's your mother? She's at home. Can you not worry about your mother? Are you hearing me? Yes. Can you not worry about your mother? I'll just... Hmm? Uh, it's tough for her, I'll do so. Yes. Can you not worry about your mother? Hmm? Because now you are worried that her health is not good. You are worried that Avahono Pila will say with the income they are getting at home. So do you now see the importance of you getting your job back? You will also be able to extend a hand to your mother. So don't worry about your mother. As I'm praying with you now, your mother will also get fine at home. Amen. In Jesus' name. Out, your spirit of poverty. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Hmm? Why do you want her to be poor? Speak. In Jesus' name. I cut your head off and I set you free in Jesus' name. You are free. On Tuesday.
on Tuesday, they will take you back. <laughs>